Hi all and welcome to another Paleo Guide. In this video we are going to look at waterlogged chests and the best ways of getting them. If you are new to Paleo or haven't found any of these chests yet, then you might wonder what waterlogged chests are and why you would want them. In short, waterlogged chests are special loot chests that can only be found while fishing. If you catch one, you can open it in your inventory and receive a random item from the makeshift furniture series. Currently there is a total of 76 items in this range and 68 of them can be found in waterlogged chests. The other 8 can be purchased at Seikis Black Market. There is also an accomplishment that you can earn when collecting all of the makeshift furniture, which requires you to get all the ones from fishing as well as the ones from the black market. The makeshift furniture is, as the name implies, mostly made of repurposed materials. And the often crude items range from actual furniture to smaller, quite unique decorations. Let's talk about the waterlogged chests. As mentioned, these can only be obtained through fishing. And it doesn't matter whether you use no bait, worms or glowworms, there is always a chance to get them. Although they are fairly rare. Now the question is, what are the chances to fish such a chest in general? Are the chances better when using bait? And does the location where you fish make any difference? The answer is unfortunately not that straightforward, as we have had occasions where we have got none out of 150 fish, and other times where we have gotten 3 when fishing 80. This means the random nature makes it very difficult to test. However, we have found some interesting data on Paleopedia, a fan-made website that not only gathers data from the game, but also provides other useful tools. The data suggests that there is actually a difference depending on what bait you use and where you fish, even if the chances vary only slightly depending on what you do. Let's have a look at what the data suggests. Do keep in mind that the percentages in the Paleopedia database might be rounded though the impact of that would be minimal. Fishing with no bait has a 2% chance to yield a waterlogged chest when fishing in any pond at Kilimas Lake as well as in Bahari rivers and caves. However, Kilimas rivers and the coast of Bahari only yield a 1% chance when fishing without bait. The chances increase slightly when fishing out of hotspots. Strangely enough, Kilima Lake sees the highest increase here with 4% while all other hotspot locations have 3%. Now let's have a look at the results when using worms as bait. Fishing with worms has a 3% chance to yield a waterlogged chest when fishing in any pond, at Kilimas Lake as well as in Bahari rivers, caves and at the coast of Bahari. The exception are Kilimas rivers, they only provide a 2% chance when fishing with worms. Fishing from hotspots with worms shows similar increases, with all locations having a 5% chance, except for rivers with only 3%. Last but not least, the results when using glowworms as bait. Fishing with glowworms has a 4% chance to yield a waterlogged chest when fishing in any pond at Kilimas Lake, as well as in Bahari rivers, caves and at the coast of Bahari. Once again, the exception are Kilimas rivers. Even when fishing with glowworms, they only provide a 2% chance of getting a waterlogged chest. However, glowworms seem to provide equally good chances when fishing from hotspots at all locations, boasting the so far highest percentage of 7% across the board. A last note regarding the glowworm stats. While the database generally attributes any time of day to all stats, Kilima Lake excluded nighttime, Kilima Rivers only listed morning and day, and Bahari Coasts only daytime. This is with and without hotspots. Since no additional percentages were listed for the other times of day, we're not really sure if there really is a difference. By the way, with only a 1 and a 2% chance, as well as the fact that there are no hotspots, Fishing at the water temple in Kilima seems to be one of the worst options. So what can we take away from these numbers and can you really increase your chances for getting chests? 
Looking at the numbers, we believe it's safe to say that if you're hunting for waterlogged chests, simply avoid Kilima rivers, unless you're looking for hotspots. It's also clear that hotspots overall increase chances for waterlogged chests wherever you fish. Beyond that, fishing with glowworms in hotspots at any location is the absolute best tip for anyone targeting chests. At 7% is quite a difference from the potentially 1-2% to when just randomly fishing with no bait around the world. If you have yet to work on your glowworm production, then we suggest to at least build a regular worm farm. The extra 1 or 2% versus no bait might make a difference in the long run. However, if short on worms, make sure to save them for hotspots. All in all, it also involves a lot of luck, so if you don't mind the slightly lower chances and don't want to stress with the extra bait and hotspot scouting, then we'd say simply enjoy and relax while fishing normally. Sooner or later you'll get a chest. And that's all for this guide. If you'd like to see more content from us, please don't forget to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.